Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys my town again, but this time I made sure my boats are actually in. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. So this is pretty much just going to be a oh, loot pull video. Um, I think most of these ships are over 2 million, maybe. I think this one's like 2.5 million. So we're going to peak these ships. And then over here, I have a full squad of red map completions. These are actually pretty nice, so we're going to pull these. And for some reason, I don't know why, I, this was going last night, and then they just, like, stopped here. Like, I have no idea why they were mapping. Nobody died, so I'm not sure what happened here. I did run out of gold, but the running out of gold wouldn't be relevant because this literally takes 10 minutes, and I ran out of gold after a couple of hours, which would imply that they'd be, like, down here. So I'm still trying to figure out why sometimes they stop working. Maybe I just brain farted, but anyway, let's go ahead and check. Okay, so let's take a look at the first rewards. Oh, look at that. How nice a divine orb. How beautiful. Let's go and add that to the stock. So we'll leave that alone. <clears throat> let's go. Don't forget, you've got a bit of treasure to fetch. Okay. But these god knows how much money i have in runes actually i saw people were buying them for quite a bit we're just stocking them up in there for now all right what about this next one uh this next one looks like there's like more stuff but no divines so that's okay okay and last one no divines that's all right pretty good gumball i'll take it I'll take it. I didn't really do much to work for it. Oof, what was I thinking about just now? Very nice for SSF, though. Like, looking at the amount of gumball you get, I, I think it's going to be a very fun SSF league. Okay, and then let's go check our mappers. All right. So the mappers are kind of interesting. In SSF, I will definitely look at more loot, like, like this, for example. Not amazing, but as, like, a starting chest, that would be pretty good, right? A lot of good stuff in here. Um, right now in Trade League, I pretty much have, like, everything turned off because I'm just using, like, the item filter to apply to it. But for sure, in SSF, I will make sure to, like, keep all uniques on so that I can take the uniques out for disenchanting intentionally. I've actually found quite a few divines uh, just from the mappers, which is pretty cool. And then usually what I do is I take the equipment like this, and I will just take the equipment and put it in the disenchanter. Same thing with the stuff from the boats. So I just come over here like this, and then we'll just dump that right there. So again, just boom, 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 boom. Not bad, not bad. Nice. That, 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 that. Doo -doo. Let's make some I'm, I'm a big fan of this to be honest I like it I think that um, I think that it's not too long and it doesn't it's not so frequent to the point where it feels tedious and the rewards are not crazy but good enough to the point where I want to look at them so I like it it's actually a good ring yeah it's actually sell let's see this might be like 20 C. 20 chaos. Bloop. In you go. Let's take some of these. Take the uniques to disenchant. I kind of like compared it yesterday when I made I made a similar video to this where I was talking about how waking up in the morning and like kind of looking at, you know, what like your wealth sort of is just such a nice feeling like you wake up and you're excited to go check you know you want to go see if your broker made any sales you want to go see if your boys brought back anything good you check up on your boat shipments i don't know it's a very cozy feeling i can't say i've ever been so excited before to literally wake up and just play path of exile uh, i think it's probably been years since i have enjoyed a league mechanic this much which is interesting, though, because when Sanctum came out, Sanctum and Sentinel League were some of my favorite. But at the end of the day, I think I like this one more, just because of the way how it integrates itself into the game. I mean, granted, Sen Sentinel did integrate itself as well, and for me, Sanctum was amazing. I don't do Sanctum much anymore because it's rebalanced and it's 
my build kind of sucks for it is probably the main reason I would say. This is uh, one of the few places my build is not good at. Um, yeah, I mean, that's good enough. We just have to pick up some one-by-ones there. Maybe some accessories. So, like, that one. And that one. Delete. Okay, what do we got here? No divines. Unlucky. Oh, uniques are good. Disenchant, though. I don't know if they can disenchant jewels. Last two. Here we go. What do we got? Some nice scarabs. Uh, is this jewel worth anything? No. It feels like some of these items have, like, the well-rolled treatment as well, where they... Seems like their rolls are a bit better than, I don't know, like, identifying stuff on average. Looks like we are coming to an end here, though. We do have one more thing to check, but I think we're getting at the end here. So let's trash that. And then that one goes in. Pretty much all this stuff goes in. This is worth 2.4. That's worth 1 point. Holy shit, that's actually terrible. Whatever, that's fine. Okay, what about, like, uh... Okay, that works. <laughs> Let's make some dust. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I think the last thing to do, we just gotta fill up the roster of maps. And then we gotta go look at these two right here. There's not really anything special there. Okay. Yeah, so here's how I do this. Um, currently, this map device is set up with 10 all the way to 7, and they are very expensive. I'm trying to re-roll and get, like, non-hybrid people here, but even if you look here, this rank 9 is 1,800, and this rank 8 is a hybrid at 1,200. So, I don't know, I think they're just giga expensive, so... Let's see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all my low tier maps. And this is actually so awesome because even though I have four void stones, you still naturally get um, non tier 16 maps. And a large part of this is because of Arc Nemesis loot conversion, which TLDR, it basically just makes it so um, when you're killing mobs, there's a random chance for like map explosions. And the map explosions don't have to be based off of your void stones. You can see here my expected completion is 85, 83, 79, uh, 81, 79. So you can see it's pretty decent completion chance on these. Maybe I should be doing higher tier. I'm not sure. Hey, look, someone wants to buy that ring. I literally just put in there eight seconds ago. Thanks, mappers. It's been seconds. <laughs> All right. That's pretty much going to be about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll try to get another crafting video, or uh, not a crafting video, another build update, but it's been a little uh, tricky right now. We are blasting. We're close to level 100. Um, I do have another video going up maybe in a couple of hours. It's actually crafting gloves. It's going to be similar to the shield craft, but a lot quicker because, uh, well, actually, I guess it's kind of similar. So we have the, the glove craft that's going to go up, and then I'll figure out what's going to come next, but... That's pretty much about it. I think probably an Atlas update video will come next, but that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys all tomorrow.